Hey, what's up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother in Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into our video. But before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, just pull your mother effing blunt out. Thank you to everybody that continues to go on over to Facebook and follow Barb City over there. You are very much appreciated. And if you have not done that already, I'm going to assume that behind your ear stink. Okay. Also, remember, we are on all platforms. Let's get into our first topic, which is going to be quick. I can hear y'all sucking y'all's teeth already. It is about Krishan Rock. She was seen out with a new boo. I believe his name is pronounced K Suave. I could be wrong, but thank you to Got the Scoop for this clip. As you guys can see, they are in something that looks like a club. It looks like they were sharing a kiss. I could be wrong. Clearly, Krishan did not want to be seen on the camera. And I'm pretty sure that's because in the long run, she wants to end up with Blueface. Okay. With all of that being said, um, I do feel like Krishan is moving way too fast. I feel like she has a million other things that she could be worried about, like evolving into the woman that she can be also taking care of her son and just staying in her bag i feel like christian rock does not know how to properly love herself so being in a relationship is just not going to work right now and i don't know when she's gonna get that but at the same time you guys let's be clear at least it's not that dirty community nah y'all let me stop And here were some of the comments. She just said on live that if Blue was to drop everything, she would do the same and go back. And I agree. I don't know why K Suave would set himself up. But at the same time, let's be clear. K Suave is probably playing games as well. Another person says she literally just had a baby. Why can't people just be single and heal? And I also agree with this. And I was wondering... Maybe she's one of those people that just can't stand to be alone. One more comment. Dang, she stuck on blue. Y'all mad. She moved on and y'all are still mad. I'm glad she's even attempting to move on. And I agree, you guys. At least she's trying. Isn't that what y'all wanted? Anyways, let's get into Sexy Red. So Sexy Red continues to get dragged because... People are not happy that she is the representation for black women at this time. They are not happy with the messages that she's sending out to the young black women that are looking up to her. And they also have a lot to say about um, the way she carries herself while she's pregnant. So let's be clear. Sexy Red is not the first Sexy Red. Stop acting like you guys weren't listening to this type of music when you were kids, okay? It just sounded a, li a little different. Um, with that being said, I do understand where people are coming from as far as the representation for Black women. Not me, but some Black women. And also the messages that she's sending out to the young girls. I get it, okay? At the same time, I feel like women, pregnant women, should be able to have fun. They should be able to feel sexy no matter what. But as you guys can see here, Sexy Red was doing a concert and she decided to throw her thing back. Obviously, her shorts were very revealing as well as all her dancers. So people had a lot to say about that. And like I said, I feel like she should be able to have fun, but there is a time and a place, and I know it's a concert, but baby, you is pregnant. But my thing is, why wasn't anybody saying this about Cardi B when she had her end up there nine months pregnant doing the same mother effing thing? You bitch! How dare you? Oh my God! Then y'all want to talk about Sexy Red never having shoes on. But I don't see y'all talking about Boxy B and 77 Cents. They've been performing with no shoes on for the past year. Okay. Anyways, y'all, here were some of those comments. 
not gonna lie this is getting old fast this lady is so look, classless what do you people see in her and idolize about her men with pregnancy kinks are having a time with this ratchet mess disgusting to be honest why are people hyping her up and one more person saying what is her beef with shoes and bank accounts <laughs> wow all right so um let me know what you guys feel about that and let's go on ahead and get into beyonce so beyonce is also being dragged because people are feeling like this woman is bleaching her skin can you believe it of all things of all people people are trying to say that beyonce is bleaching her skin the woman that had insurance on her legs all right anyway as you can see here she posted her photos of herself at the renaissance premiere her movie that she just put out for her renaissance world tour she looks absolutely amazing in my opinion she looks stunning she looks beautiful she looks like mother in beyonce and if you don't notice what i noticed look at her dress do you see the color of her dress look at the color of her hair now look at the color of the curtain behind her and imagine a humongous light taking a picture of you i know you guys can see the light beaming off of her dress beaming off of the curtains behind her and i know you guys know how lighting works okay this is what you call good lighting good lighting y'all how dare you sit here and play in her mother effing face embarrassing you shut the fuck up. That what? What happened? What was that? What was that? You stupid? Did you really just say that dumb ass shit? Did you really just say that? Is this bitch for real right now? With that being said, someone said this beyonce is albino white she must have been bleaching her skin hashtag albino hashtag beyonce and beyonce definitely cleared it up quickly okay she posted a series of photos to her instagram one of them being one of these close up to her face and you can clearly see that beyonce still has all her melanin and here were some of the comments anyone who said beyonce is bleaching her skin like she hasn't looked like this even in bright lights for years is an effing loser beyonce said is the bleaching in the room with us now <laughs> And just one more comment. The great thing about being black is that we have melanin. My winter color and my summer color are completely different too. Beyonce ain't bleaching. And I have to uh, vouch for this as a black woman, not just a black woman, but a dark skinned black woman, black African American queen, okay? I too am two different colors. My summer color is way darker than my winter color, especially if I spend a lot of time in the sun, in the pools and stuff like that, I get even darker. So stay in your lane. Let's go on ahead and move forward into the razzle dazzle of the video, which of course is none other than Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj is beating the AI allegations you guys know when she released her Pink Friday 2 cover art, people were trying to say that she was using AI-generated um, pictures. And the reason why they were saying this is because at that time, there were a lot of fake Barb accounts as well as some Barbs that were posting AI-generated photos of her. And although Nicki Minaj asked several times for people to please stop posting those photos of her, everybody continues to do it. So of course, when she dropped her Pink Friday 2 cover art, they were trying to say the same thing. Well, Nicki Minaj was in no rush to cover or to cover to um, basically clear up 
the narratives people were trying to run with but she did finally do it as you can see here on the right she posted her in her actual photo shoot for the picture on the left now you guys know this was not the only cover art that she did but this was the outfit that she was wearing for all the cover arts especially or excuse me including the background so you guys this is just clear perfection whoever designed the pictures for her you know put her photo shoot together this is just pure id talent and perfection it has nothing to do with ai and it's crazy because even after um she posted this people were still trying to say oh the background is ai generated like you damn fool do you even know how this type of stuff works anyways you guys with that being said while we're talking about people continuing to do things that Nicki minaj has asked them to stop doing let's get into the fact that she was on twitter spaces today and she was basically letting the barbs know look i'm blocking i'm unfollowing and i'm in a blocking era if i see anything on my timeline that will irritate me you're done for no matter who you are so check this clip out i want you to know okay i want you to really know this listen carefully guys i want you to know that every and anybody will be blocked if i get one my motherfucking twitter at any time and see Um, and see anything that's going to aggravate me. So, so y'all heard what she said. Okay. Be respectful. Stop using those fake photos that she done asked jobs to stop using those AI generated photos. Stop posting the duds on her timeline stop responding to the duds unless it's with a mother effing stat just like when they were saying her photos were ai generated what did she do she responded with her photo shoot that's what the barbs need to be doing we have no time for distractions we have Nicki minaj's best album on the way okay i know her best album right now is pink friday but Pink Friday 2, I believe what Nikki is saying. And I believe that it is about to take over. Also, um, let's get into this. Onika Statistics posted, Nicki Minaj reveals that her tour for her upcoming album, Pink Friday 2, starts in March of 2024. So you guys have the, that month now. You have that month. So make sure you guys are prepared and ready. You guys know the tickets are going to drop well before that. Okay. Remember that. Um, also, Nikki had this to say about her album. She said, right now, as I type this, mother effers have no effing idea what the F is about to effing happen. The entire industry will change after December 8th, 2023. I shall appoint barbs only. Every congressman, senator, president, monarch, <laughs> you name it. Like Nicki Minaj is a trip, okay? The way she be hyping stuff up. She also said, giving you guys a line off the album every day until 12 8, starting now. Pink Friday 2, Pink Friday 2. Now, this is going to be big to be able to hear a bar from you know, whatever song she chooses every single day for the next, you know, week or so, like it's definitely going to be a vibe. Um, also Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 is now discounted on the Walmart website. And it's funny because Walmart was in this person's comments. They said nothing but respect for the queen of rap and i'm definitely here for that okay before we get up out of here i just wanted to get into Nicki minaj's perfumes i wanted to get into the nine that she already has out leading up to her most recent release pink friday 2. so 
as you can see these are her bottles number one is pink friday now my bottle looks like this the bottle that i have in my house right now it looks like this it doesn't have the white shirt um i don't know if there's two different types of bottles for the pink friday but let me know what bottle you guys have um number two is the pink friday special edition number three is menagesty okay menagesty i believe it's a i believe okay i'm putting majesty with menage is i believe is what she was doing okay um the next one number four is pink friday deluxe number five is menagesty exotic edition number six is onika number seven is the pink print number eight is trini grow number nine is queen and of course number 10 her most recent release pink friday 2 which is um basically in in conjunction with her pink friday 2 album that will be released on december 8th 2023 let me know which one of these perfumes you guys already have let me know if you guys already cop the pink friday too and also y'all thank you for enjoying barb city blooper rose child i am not starting over the mother video is over okay with that being said i love you guys so much thanks <music>